Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Yacono. Amanda Hill is on assignment in Auburn tonight on this eve of the Dempsey Challenge. We will hear from her a little later. But first, at 6 tonight, a community and a family still trying to process the death of a young girl in Chelsea. That girl, just 21 months old, was hit by a tow truck Wednesday afternoon. Just moments earlier, she had been playing on a swing in front of the home where she was staying. Now, police say witnesses at the scene acted quickly to do what they could to help. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers today spoke with some of those people today, and Sam clearly still processing everything that happened this week. Yeah, Brian. Well, Haley and Ophelia Hukeni live in Scarborough, and they happen to be traveling to the Midcoast for a family engagement Wednesday and say their GPS took them through Chelsea. As they drove down Windsor Road, they told me they saw people parked on the street and a woman attempting to perform CPR on a child. We got out of the car and walked towards them and the woman yelled, do you know CPR? And we said yes. We fortunately took a CPR refresher course recently before our own kiddo was born. So Haley and Ophelia Hukini got to work trying to keep the 21 month old girl alive until the ambulance came while also trying to comfort the woman who told them she was the child's foster mother. It was obvious that we were speaking with somebody who didn't want any of this to happen. She really wanted Majesty to pull through and she was there, you know, while I was performing CPR, she was there the whole you know, time. rubbing her head, holding her hand, speaking to her, telling her to, to pull through and hoping she would. But it wasn't to be. The girl did not survive. During those frantic minutes, the couple also saw the driver of the tow truck that hit her. The driver was there, but he was clearly very stunned. And he was respectfully keeping a distance on the other side of the road. The Who Kenny stayed with the family to make sure they were okay and say they left their contact information with police. We love her and we're really sorry about what happened. And so we just wanted to extend our condolences to the family and let them know that she wasn't alone. And people were there. As new parents of a six month old, the couple says they can't help but put themselves in her place. Someone once told me that when you become a parent, the whole world's children become your children. Mm -hmm. And I think that I speak for both of us when I say that we've found that to be true. As for the woman's claim of being the foster mother of the little girl, we checked with Maine's Department of Health and Human Services. A spokesperson told us under state and federal law, DHHS is prohibited from commenting on child protective matters in most instances and that the agency is unable to provide further comment at this time. Do what you can to love and keep safe the children you have and the children in your community. As for the Hukinis, the couple says it was clear to them that this child was loved and their hearts go out to the family. And when they left the scene that night, they saw a monarch butterfly, something they'll always remember. Naturally, you know, majesty, royalty, beautiful monarch butterfly um, reminded us of majesty and we hope she's at peace, that folks know that she was really loved. And so if you see a butterfly in the coming weeks or any time, we hope you'll think of her. The Who Kinneys also want to remind Mainers that if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, to do your best to sense what people need and to offer it. Because, they say, we're all Mainers, we're all neighbors, and we need to be there for each other. And Brian, when we do get updates on this investigation, we will be sure to let everybody know on air and online when we have them. Tragic really is the only word to use for this this week. Sam. I, I think that's very fair to say, Brian. Our thanks to you.